No, no, who told you that? The book of Revelation? We just read it. We, we just, it talks about the devil all through the Bible. Genesis all the way to Revelation. Revelation. Then we just read to you in Revelation that Christ was a black man. That was what the Bible said, right? Well, you see, somebody wrote that Bible. Yeah, yeah, men wrote the Bible. Our, our ancestors wrote the Bible. Joel, which is your ancestor, right? Noah, Moses, Ezekiel, all of them, our ancestors. Yeah, they wrote the Bible. The most high put a scroll in there. Watch this. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 11. Bring it up. The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the word to a person like John or a person like Zechariah or Matthew. So the Lord gave the word to him to do what? Great was the company of those that published it. They published it. Hey. White man got the text out to publish this here. Hey, that's what he did. That's why we got all these Bibles. This is our history book. You understand? You understand? Give me the yeah. give me Psalm 140. You got it? It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147. 147. Verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob, the children of Israel, to Jacob, which are the Israelites. That's yeah. what most high showed the word, the word to the what? Right. His statue. Watch this, John. He what? He showed his word unto Jacob. So the most high showed his word to the children of Israel, which right. are Jacob. Right. He only showed us their word. The Bible is our history book. I am Michael John, and we say his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. We are the children of Israel. Right. This is not no religion up here. We are the children of Israel. Right. What did he do? He have not dealt so with any nation. Say that again. He have not dealt so with any nation. He didn't give this word to the Caucasian, the Chinese man, right. or the Africans, and none of that. He gave it to us. We the Israelites. And what did he say? And as for his judgment. And as for his judgment. We, what? They have not we known them. We don't know the judgment. What's your own? Who's that? Know who we are? I'm saying, what kind of people are you? We Israelites. You're an Israelite. We just, we just a spiritual, we spiritual fellas that's keeping God's commandments, right? We your brother. So we, we keep keeping God's commandments. All these commandments we'll be keeping up here. See all these fringes and all this? This is a commandment of the Most High. You see everybody got beards up here? This is a commandment in the Bible. It's not part of the tent. See, we're not shopping on on the Sabbath day. That's a commandment. We're not gonna do that. God. Christ told us to come out in the hedges and the byways and teach. Watch what he said. It's the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. What did Christ say? And it reads, And the Lord said unto the servant, what did he tell us? Go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in. That's what we're doing, y'all. You see that? That's what I say. Chapter 59, 58 and 1. Bring it out. Cry aloud. What did, what did Christ say? Cry aloud. Christ said, Cry aloud. That's why we're talking loud. And what? Spare not. We're not, up that. we're not sparing nobody's feelings. We're just coming out here telling you the true facts of what the Bible is saying. And what do you say? Lift up thy voice lift as up, a trumpet. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's why we're yelling and hollering. We want everybody to hear, not just you. You see what I'm saying? And what? And show my people. And do what? Show my people. And show my people what? Their transgressions. So Christ commanded us to come out here and show our people their transgressions, which are their wrongdoings, their sin. You understand? And what? In the house of Jacob, their sin. Came out here soon. But you got to repent. Come back. Right. If you repent, you repent. Yeah, whatever. Get up and repent. Right. You're in the book of Acts, chapter 17, verse 30. What do you say? And at the times of this ignorance, uh -huh. God winked at you. At the time of your ignorance, the most high winked at you. Now you know him, right? Uh -huh. You ignorant back. Yes, it was. Two minutes ago, you was ignorant. You didn't know that you was an Israelite. But say that again. At this, t at the time of this ignorance, uh -huh. God winked at. God winked at all the times that you, you didn't know. When you were last night praying and all that, now it's about to be serious with you. What you say? But now commanded all men everywhere. But now commanded all men everywhere to do what? To repent. repent. Now you must repent because now you're aware that you are the children of Israel. That you are, okay, you, now you know that you're a Jew. Now you know you got to keep the 613 commandments. Now you know this. The 13 commandments. Ain't that hard? Yeah, we can do it. You want to hear a commandment that you didn't know? Six, 613. Yes, sir, 613. It's not. It is, sir. Not in the Bible. Give me numbers uh, 15 and 38. This is a command. Watch this. This is a command. Easy commandment. All these commandments is easy. It ain't hard. Well, I say it's not hard to do it. Speak the numbers. Look at 15, uh, verse 38. This is a command. Watch. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to who? Children of Israel. And I say speak to the children of Israel. What? And bid them, and bid them to what? That they make them fringes, make them fringes in the borders of their garments. This is a commandment, sir. You 
can do this. And what? Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. See, this is a commandment. This one part of the ten that the church tried to teach you about. They ain't read this. Teach you, bro. Watch this. <laughs> and that they put up on the fringe of the borders uh -huh. a ribbon of blue. You must put a ribbon of blue at your border. See the ribbon of blue? Everybody got a ribbon of blue? Be keeping it. That's why churches don't talk about revelation. Why do they don't want to talk about revelation? Because give me Revelation 13 and 9. They don't want to talk about this. Watch this. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. It out. And it reads, If any man have an ear, any man have an ear, let him hear. Listen to this. Verse 10. Uh -huh. He that lead it into captivity. This is why the church don't like talking about the book of Revelation, because it has a judgment for the white people out here. Watch me say it. He that lead it into captivity, he that lead you into captivity, shall go into captivity. All the whites must go into captivity when Christ comes back. That's what Christ comes to do. So, yes, indeed. They gotta go. They gotta go. They got. They must. They must go through their judgments as well. We going through our judgments. Keep going. He that kill it with the sword. He that kill it with the sword. Must, must be killed with the sword. He must be killed with the sword as well. Here is the patience and the, the faith, faith of the, the saints. saints. We're the saints. We got patience waiting on that. You must be waiting on that too. Okay, I can't wait for it to happen. How about you? You want to have it too? Uh, book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. Right out. Behold, uh -huh. I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. You're going to make them so-called Jewish people out there in Israel right now? He called, Christ called them the synagogue of Satan. Why do you tell Which them? say they are Jews. They're saying that they're Jews. And are not. Christ said they ain't not no Jews. But do lie. They lie and what? Behold, uh -huh. I will make them come. He said he's going to make them come and do what? And worship before thy feet. They're going to come and worship before our feet. They're and and what? And to know. And to know what? That I have loved thee. He said, I love y'all. That's why he punishes us. Because more high love us, man. And keep going. Wait. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 21 and 22. Bring it out. For the upright uh -huh. shall dwell in the land. That's right. And the perfect shall remain in it. That's right. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. But the wicked. But the who? But, but the, the wicked. wicked. So-called white people is a what? The wicked. So-called Africans are the what? The wicked. The wicked. So-called Chinese people is the, the what? The wicked. wicked. So-called Arabs is the what? The wicked. The wicked. They the wicked. And what? Shall be cut off from the earth. They're going to all be cut off from the earth. But we're going to run this world next. We got hit. We got up next. You know, we've been sitting on the bench warming up. We wait for our turn. Most high been punishing us ever since we, we took us out of Egypt. You understand that, Elder? That's what's going on out here. Bring it up. Where is that? Uh huh? Where I'm going to Where you going to be at? You must follow God's commandments. You just read up in the book. Yeah. Uh huh? You got a question, Elder? Yeah. No, I ain't got nothing to do with bro. Are you just listening? I ain't got no question. Yeah, I do with y'all running. Go to Amos chapter 9. It's hard. It's, it's hard. Amos 9. Bring us Amos 9. Life Verse 9. Life is hard, but we can do it. That was a good it. question. That's a good question. That's right. That's right. Bring it out. Amos 9, Amos starting nine, verse 9. 9 and 9. You want to know what he Amos, does? chapter 9, verse 9. Bring it out. And it reads, uh -huh. For lo, I will command, and I will sift the house of Israel uh -huh. among all nations. He's going to sift them. I mean, he's going to take us out from, like, you know how he said, going to take us out of the land? He's going to sift the house of Israel out of where we've been scattered. He's going to say, go ahead. Like as corn is sifted right. in a sieve. A sieve is something that sifts the corn, like, and let all of the bottom stuff, the, the good stuff stay in the sift and everything else, right. the shaft goes to the ground. Yeah. That's right, go ahead. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. I mean, the ones that's keeping the commandments, they ain't gonna fall. Keep going. All the sinners of my people. All the sinners of the Israelites. Shall not die by the sword. They're gonna be put to death. Say that again, shall what? Shall die by the sword. Go ahead. All, all the sinners shall what? Die by the sword. So if you ain't keep the commandment, you already just said. Keep going. The evil shall not overtake right. nor pervert us. Keep prevent going. us. Go ahead. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David. Go ahead. That is fallen. Uh-huh. And close up the breaches of their own. You're gonna bring the northern and southern kingdoms back as hey, one. Yeah, for sin. There's adjustment for sin. What's the way the wages of sin is what? The wages of sin is what? What it, what, what it is, Alvin? Thank you. It's the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. Watch. For the wages of sin is death. That's what the Bible says. So you don't supposed to continue sin. Read uh, Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. But you live in this world, you're going to sin. Watch. That's not true. That's why I said. Romans, chapter 6, verse 1. Philippians. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace be abound? Go ahead. 
God forbid. No. He's saying no. You can't continue sinning. Okay. Give me Hebrews chapter no. 10 verse 26. It's the book of Hebrews chapter 10 true. verse 26. For if we sin willfully. That's the, the willful sin. If you sin. Yeah, I don't sin no. Listen, no. Yeah, brother, you got this listen what it said. If you sin willfully. After that we have received the knowledge of the truth. And you know you don't supposed to be doing it. What? There remain no more sacrifice for sins. No more sacrifice for your sins. But what? But a sil cer certain fearful looking for of judgment and a fiery indignation get burned which death, shall devour the adversaries do? which shall you devour the adversaries he calls you an adversary when you die, where you going? Oh, good question I'm going to finish that off good question go ahead read what you got it's Philippians chapter 4 verse 3 because if you say that we can't stop sinning we want to put this in there I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. What that is? What you said? I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. That I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. That's right. That's the question. Give me all these. Please ask me 12 and 7. 1 and 12. I'm going to go through God. Please ask me 12 and 7. Give me Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26. Then shall the dust return to the earth. Meaning your body returns to the earth. Yeah. As it was. Uh -huh. And the spirit. Your spirit. Shall return unto God who gave it. It goes back to the most high. Yeah. Right. Now, guess what? Give me uh, some rock. I mean, 2nd uh, Esther. 2nd Esther. Chapter 14, verse 35. Now, you, now your, your body. Hold on. Let me read this to you. Because I want to finish, fully answer your question. Second right. Andrews, second Andrews. Yeah, 14, verse 35. It's the book of Second Andrews, chapter 14. Your body goes back to the ground, your spirit goes back to the Father. Now watch this, hold on, this is what happens after. It's the book of Second Andrews, chapter 14, verse uh, 35. For after death, after death, shall the judgment come, uh -huh. Go ahead. when we shall live again. So after your spirit goes, like after death, you go back to God and he judges you, and then you come back to earth. Right. That's why when you read, give me John chapter 9, verse 1. Well, we already, we already in hell. Yeah, we in hell right now. We in hell right now. Give me uh, 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 Proverbs, give me Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. Yeah, I got you. The spirit going to heaven. Uh, I think it's 11, verse 29. Look, the spirit going to go to heaven, and your body going to lay in the dust. Listen. All spirits go to heaven. About Listen, to about to we just He's about read it. Read it again. Read it again. Go ahead. Read it again. 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 You know, I mean, that's you believe it? Hold on, let me get you an answer. That's who we are. I mean, like, there's no, there's no, when you read the Bible, God didn't give us Baptists, Catholic, Baptists. He gave, the, this is a bunch of Israelites that wrote the Bible to Israelites. The Bible is, in a, is not an all-inclusive book. Matter of fact, God is against people coming together. Right, give me uh, give me Deuteronomy 32 and verse 8. Yes, other than the Israelites. These are the people that created all those different religions. Deuteronomy which are white people. Verse 8. They created Baptists, they created Egyptologists, they created Seven Day Adventists, they created Jehovah Witnesses, they created all of this to separate us. See that? Give me Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 40. Yeah, watch. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 8. Remember, God the same today, yesterday, and ever more. He didn't change. Read when, that. when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance. When he divided the nations their inheritance. Go ahead. When he separated the sons of Adam. He separated the sons of Adam. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Go ahead. For the Lord's portion is his people. He said the Lord's portion is his people. God is about to say, who is his people? Jacob is a lot of his inheritance. Jacob. Israelites are the lot of his inheritance. When he separated, give me Luke, I think it's 12 and 51. When he comes back, watch this. He didn't change it. This is Christ. The book of 
Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Bring it up. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. You think Christ came to bring peace? What? I'll tell you nay. No. But rather division. He rather divide. He's going to separate the sheep from the goats. He didn't come to bring everybody together. Matter of fact, let him read Genesis. We're talking about the Tower of Babel. Remember, he sent an angel down to confound the nations to divide the nations. He don't want everybody together. Israel is his person, and he wants us to repent and keep his commandments. Like, I ask you a question. How many gates are there to him? Let me read it to you. I ain't, I ain't trying to play nobody. I want everybody to hear this. Check this out. And I'm, I'm saying this because the kingdom of heaven is only for these people. Revelation, Revelation 21, 21 and 12. They had a wall great and high. Go ahead. It had 12 gates. There's 12 gates to the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. And at the gates, 12 angels. Those angels are acting as bumpers, a bouncer. Go ahead. And the names written thereon. Which are what? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's who the kingdom of heaven is called. So if you're not one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, what the hell are you going to Let me show you. Jump to chapter 22, verse 14. This is how the Israelites get into the kingdom. These are the 12 tribes of Israel, right here. Yep. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim. You see on the other right side? That's, that's what, what we're called That's today. what we're called. Go American ahead. blacks. Book of Revelation 22 and 15. 14. 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Uh -huh. we that they may have right to the tree of life. Okay. Hold on. Read it again. Start from the top. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Go ahead. That they may have right to the tree of life. Go ahead. And they enter in through the gate. Remember, all of these people that can enter into the peace. Now watch this. Enter the city. Uh-huh. For without are dogs. He said the people, the, the things that's without the gates are dogs. You think God has something against canines? He said that without the gates are dogs. He's not talking about a canine. Let me show you what he's talking about. Give me Matthew chapter 15, verse 21 right there. He said, Blessed are they that keep his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter into the gates, because without the gates are dogs. It's not talking about a dog that you see running around on the street. Watch the dogs he's talking about. Read that. Come on. Matthew, Matthew 15, 21. 15, verse 21. Go ahead. Then Jesus went this and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Go ahead. And behold, a woman of Canaan a came up. A woman that's not an Israelite. A woman of another, of another nation came to Christ and did what? Came out of the same coast. And did what? And cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. So she came to Christ and she said, Have mercy on me. She's going to tell you why. Go ahead. My daughter is grievously vexed with that devil. She said, My daughter got the devil on. I need you to get this devil off of her. Go ahead. But he answered her not a word. He ignored her. Go ahead. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. So even the disciples said, Get out of here. Go ahead. But she cried after us. She won't help from us too. Go ahead. So he answered and said, Now watch what he says. I'm not sent. This is Christ speaking. He said, I'm not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I'm only sent to these 12 tribes of Israel. Right, right, Go ahead. Right, right. Then came she and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, Go ahead. It is not meat. Meat means right. That's a Greek word for right. He said, it's not right. To take the children's bread. And cast it to what? And cast it to dogs. So who are those people outside the gate? Those are the dogs. Those are the other nations. They can't come in. Go back to Revelation 22, verse 15. That's what the books say. Right. All we're teaching is what the books say. Right. We've never been taught what the books say. Yeah. Verse verse Revelation chapter 21, verse 15. Oh, yeah. 22, right? 22, verse 15. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 15. Go ahead. Or without our dogs. Those other nations. And sorcerers. Those are our people. That's sorcerers. And homemongers. And homemongers. And murderers. Uh -huh. And idolaters. Uh -huh. And whosoever love it and make it alive. See, all them people can't get into the kingdom of heaven. So anybody that's committing sin ain't getting in. The wages of sin is death. He didn't change nothing. Christ came, changed nothing. Everything's saying the same thing it said in the Old Testament. Same thing. Nothing changed. The only thing is, he's given us grace. He's given us grace to get it right because he understand all of the judgments we don't we withstand. You know, all the stuff that happened to us. He's given us grace now to come back to him. Yeah, that's it. 
That's right. Yeah, what coming after you? The one that came after you? That was John. Not everybody. But that was what John said. John, I, I, John was talking about Christ. That's a prophecy. Read, hold on. That's Deuteronomy, let me Deuteronomy 18, 18. That's what it, that's what the prophecy said. All he was doing was quoting something. Remember, I said nothing changed. Right. He was quoting the prophecy from, from the Old Testament. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about because what Jesus said, there would be one come after him. No, that was, that, that was John. That, that, right that was John said that. Watch this. Remember, he said, I'm not worthy to tie his shoes. That's in Matthew chapter yeah. 3. Yeah, I ain't talking about that. I ain't oh. talking about that. I'm talking about something Jesus said. Now watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verse 18. 18 verse 18. Go ahead. I'll raise up. I'll raise them up. They prophet from among them. Their brother. He's going to raise up a prophet among them brethren. Go ahead. Like unto thee. Uh, like, just like unto you. Go ahead. And will put my words in his mouth. Uh huh. And he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Uh huh. And it shall come to pass that whosoever you're not walking into my word. And if you don't listen to his words? But he shall speak in my name. Uh -huh. I will require his of him. He gonna require you gonna get death for that. So in prophecy, that's talking about Christ. It's nobody coming after Christ. Oh, that ain't, that ain't, like what? Give me what? Give me that. Ain't that. Ain't well, like who? Give me uh Matthew. You talking I, about give me Matthew chapter three. About what? You talking about Matthew three. That's John, that's uh John the Baptist talking to Christ. He said that's one that's coming after me. That my shoes is now, I'm not worthy yeah, to get I, I know that John said, I ain't not saying nothing. He did not say that. He said that. But Jesus also said, I don't know where it's at. You'll have to show me what I'm saying. I read that when Jesus, you know, I was talking that when he said red, that that's was Christ. Jesus' speech. That's Christ's speech. Right? 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 right. 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 Oh, you talking about the comfort? Oh, you talking about the comfort? You talking no. about the Holy Ghost? I'm talking, no. I ain't talking about, I'm talking about. Jesus said there will be one more that can come after him. No, that's no way in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's no the, way the, only, the only thing he was talking about is the more time. It's the comfort. Not, not to dispute y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but it's not in there. That's not in there. I mean, the I only mean, the only thing he could be talking about is the, what they call a comforter. Meaning, the, give me your uh, John chapter fourteen verse fifteen. This is what you talk about. Jump down to verse 20, uh, fourteen twenty six. Book of John chapter fourteen verse twenty six. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. whom the Father was sent in my name. That's the comforter. Go ahead. He shall teach you all things. Uh -huh. That's the comforter. The Holy. That's the Holy Ghost. That the comfort could be a person. No, no. read that from the top. Watch this. From understanding of Jesus, he one after me. That, listen, you're going to speak everything I speak, you're going to take me to all. He shall speak of me. That's right. That's, that's, right. that's what it's called. Read that. Go back to the top. The book of John, chapter 14. He shall prophesy of me. That's the Spirit. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, uh -huh. whom the Father was sent in my name. Uh -huh. He shall teach you all things. Go ahead. And bring all things to your remembrance. That's talking about the Holy Ghost. That's not talking about a specific person. I, I respect it, man. This is to believe what you said, brother. You know, y'all out here. We I'm come, we'll be out there tomorrow, too, for like 10 o'clock. We come out here every Sabbath and Sunday about 10 to, well, 10 to 2 today and about 10 to 12 tomorrow. Okay, brother. Come out here, man. I'm talking to you, brother. Yeah, you're right, brother.